<laughs> no, we get rid of one problem just to fall right into a fucking another one, don't we? Hey, hey, people. Nate here from the Renegades, and more Seth Zintok, which every time Seth releases a video, I'm just like, okay, is this going to be requested of us? And I look in our, I look in our request channel, lo and behold, there it was. Earth Defense Force 5 review, and uh, yeah, Seth is definitely one of these dudes, every time he releases a video, I'm like, uh, I, was, I was like, do I know this game? Most of the games he, he's released and talked about, I don't really know, but I do know Earth Defense Force, and how ridiculous it can be, I mean, Jesus, I mean, have you seen the bosses and seen like how big the monsters are in those games? It means basically kaiju fighting simulator. Yes, like you have swarms of ants chasing you down, and the ants are like the size of buses. You have you have gigantic super spiders come at you. Super spiders. Yeah, like spiders basically the size of a, a small building. Oh my God. <sighs> oh yeah. Oh, but thankfully. It's like the eight-legged freaks movie from back in the nineties or whatever that was. Yeah, 2002, I think it was. Because I remember that movie because... Uh, there's several reasons I remember that movie. Because of how silly it is. Also, Scarlett Johansson in a, in a, in a towel. Uh, what? She was smoking hot in that flick. I remember seeing her in that and I was just like, Oh, okay. I never actually watched it. I just saw it at the movie riddle store all the time. I saw it in theaters. Me and my friends decided to give it a watch because it looked stupid, and we were just like, dude, let's check it out, because why not? And I remember it was me, Andrew, and Cody, we all went down there, and we watched it, and then all of a sudden, like, <clears throat> right in the middle of the film, Scarlett Johansson's in a, in a, in a towel, or in a, a bath towel, I'm just like, I think she was, I think she was, like, like 18 at that time. Like, she just turned 18, and I was just like, and, and here we were, gosh, how old was I? I was like 13 or 14 when that film came out. Because 2002, damn. So you were crushing. Oh. Hella hard. Oh, hardcore crushing. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let's see. There we go. Damn it, again. Why do you have to do this? Because I have a VPN on. Oh. There it is. <sighs> well, she was so young. Yes. But she still looks the same. Yes. She does. She's got more of a baby face, though. Yeah, she Isn't does. That? Like that right there. Also, look at that nose ring she's rocking. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Edge what Lord. is on her shirt? I think I think that's an elf like rolling up its sleeves it's like, alright, I'm about to fuck some shit up here. <laughs> but yeah, that's Scarlett Johansson in that movie was that that was this movie and uh, Love Song for Bobby Long were the films where I just like fell like fell head over heels for her. Y'all ever seen Love Song for Bobby Long? Damn. Never even good, heard of it. Nope, don't know flick. what that is. It's Apparently not that good because nobody fucking ever talks about it. Hey man, you haven't seen Shawshank Redemption, and that's probably considered one of the best. Yeah, but everyone talks about it. I've heard of Shawshank Redemption. You, I've you never heard of the whatever you just. No, said. he hasn't. What? I have no desire to watch a movie that's just gonna make me depressed as fuck. It's not. It, it's not it, really. It, it's, watch the. Everyone I've ever heard talk about it is like that's the saddest fucking movie. Like. I think they're setting you up for a surprise. Yeah. Maybe. I don't Trust know. me. As Not someone who's watched it, heard. I've watched that film at least, I'd say at least 10 to 15 times, if not more. I've probably watched it like <coughs> five times, five or six. But you it's really good. Yes. It's, Definitely. It's probably my, Frank, my favorite Frank Darabont film, and he's done some killer films. Highly recommend it. Yes. But. I don't think Kathan's ever watched it either. Damn, that might be a movie night we need to plan out. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, so uh, Earth Defense Force 5. Yeah, we're 
You got off topic, and now I'm getting us back on topic. So, yeah. We got way off topic. Sorry. I got distracted by thinking of Scarlett Johansson when you mentioned Eight-Legged Freaks. And then that's that's what started the dovetail. That the spiral. Just, yeah, the downward spiral of, of just, like, my ADD brain doing whatever the fuck it wants. So, here we go. Earth Defense Force 5 review by Seth Seentock. Here we go. Hey, hey, people. Seth here. I'm doing my part. Are you? The world is a bad place, and unfortunately, it's going to get worse before it gets better. No, seriously. Look out your window. <clears throat> I don't have windows down here. Yeah, it's pretty bad. You are now a member of the <laughs> You are just a civilian forklift operator, slash technician, slash mall cop, slash whatever this is. But regardless, God is coming back to Earth. He wants to make it a better place to live. A world free of pollution, free of microplastics, free of violence. <laughs> well, okay, not that one. But, uh, hey, that's two out of three. Was there anything else? Oh yeah, free of humans. You guys need to go. Now, what are you gonna do about it? You're gonna do your part. With conflict comes war. And with war what comes the the fuck? draft. Yeah. Is that Yakuza? You. You I think so. Go, go back, let me see the UI. Yeah, it's Yakuza. That's a, that's a fight scene in one of the Yakuza games. It's considered <laughs> one of the most ridiculous ones. It literally happens in a Japanese bathhouse. Two wow. naked dudes slapping each other all the time. And it's become a meme. It's become a me well, almost That's anything the first in Yakuza. Time I've seen that one. It's like, like, what's on Super Yakuza is amazing. Like, it's a game that takes itself exactly fifty percent, like fifty percent, a hundred percent seriously, and fifty percent like just takes the piss like hard. <laughs> it's, it's got like some just amazing comedy stuff in between the serious parts. Yeah. If you notice Kate uh, petting her lap, it's because she got a kitty. Like there's a she, uh, got, she, she got a little a little kitty cat down there by the name of Calliope. Yeah, oh, and she's knocked she's, out. She calls. Oh, you're, you're tweeting. Yeah. Oh, she's so cute. Yeah, it's holding her paw. Oh. Anyway. But, uh, there's a scene uh, in Yakuza at one point, or a fight rather, where you straight up fist fight a bear. There's also like karaoke scenes, which Dumb that became. Yeah. Dumb and I used to know the one that being most popular. The dreaded draft. But I've got a tip just for you. You can't get drafted if you get enlisted. Enlisted. I've already bought. I've already like got enlisted. With a strong focus on historical authenticity, we're doomed to repeat it anyway. So why not get acquainted with Enlisted's massive arsenal of weapons, vehicles, locations, and fortifications? With dynamic firefights always keeping you in the heat of action, you'll have plenty of time to learn. It's pretty fun. While many college professors would charge thousands of dollars for a history degree, you can personally experience the horrors of war for the low, low price of completely free. free. Just use my link in the description below or wait till the end of the video for a special offer. Earth Defense Force start as an excuse for Sandlot to reuse assets from other projects. However, in their quest for fast cash, they discovered something. A new market force. The primordial human <laughs> desire for increasingly dangerous insecticide. Listen, raid is no longer enough. We're living in the Garden of Eden and the best way to defend it is to burn it to the ground. As such, every EDF game is just the last game, but slightly better. For example, the Ranger can now do this. This franchise is in a constant battle to upstage itself, and surprisingly, it's still working. This game is certifiably insane in the yes. best sense of the word, because nothing makes sense. So, hop in. We've got aliens to fight. But before you can play, you'll need to pick a class. Here's a simple test to find out the right class for you. Out of your friends, which are you? Truck freak crazy ass. The fire. If you've never played EDF <laughs> before, pick the closest thing to... So, from what we remember about Badger, Ranger is basically, you know, standard DPS. Wing Diver is, you know, your anime waifu with a set of wings that can basically dive in and you know all that stuff air raider is basically your utility from a distance be like hey point that thing at that thing until it dies and then fencer which do not look him in the eyes that's that was badgers that like yeah fencer is dangerous if you know how to play it right. crappy memory because i don't remember any of that yeah i just remember badger every time he mentioned fencer it did like that that ultra bass noise, that, and he would be like, "Don't look him in the eyes." 
<laughs> he would always turn his head away. Normality for Ranger. Every class shares one guiding principle. I can't see anything, and I have no idea what's going on. Yes. <laughs> the Ranger has access to the standard issue EDF windshield wiper, the shotgun, which is only the beginning. EDF is a game of high explosives and higher explosives. Yes. C4, why stop there? How about C20? <laughs> Baba booey. There Baba we go. <laughs> now, uh, go get him, champ. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Much like the currency of Zimbabwe, the explosives oh. of EDF have experienced hyperinflation because I have just unlocked C-70. Traditionally, tube-launched missile-based weapons platforms work yeah. by putting a rocket in a tube and then firing it out of a tube. However, this is no time for tradition. Reloading is for chumps, so uh, we just cram like five in there at the same time. What's yeah. the worst that could happen? I mean, aside from small, unprovable changes in our reality. Each time you <laughs> fire that rocket, Nelson Mandela dies on a different date. <laughs> each time you reload, the Berenstein Bears change once again. And each yeah, y you were you yeah. showed me that VHS tape uh, and then picture. Dollar. Oh my gosh. Six. Each time you hit the target, you do no damage because this is a post-nerf reality. But that's okay. Explosions don't even scratch the surface of what a ranger can do. Snipe your enemies from afar. Minefield your enemies from up close. Annoy your team with DNG grenades. <laughs> <laughs> Weld the elemental powers of fire, acid, anime, and every flavor of Kool-Aid. <laughs> <Anime. laughs> the most powerful thing a ranger can do. Change I have the class. power of God. Yeah, sorry, I haven't been entirely forthcoming. If you're playing multiplayer, there is no reason to pick ranger. And if you're playing single player, you know what? I completely respect that. You do you. Presumably, as a consumer of Japanese entertainment products, no woman is physically present, or else she would save you from your poor decisions, physically punching the copy of Persona 4 out of your hands and freeing you from the path of a child predator. Excuse me? Are you, are you saying that people who like Persona are pedos? Because, no. <laughs> you know who's the biggest Persona fan that I know? Chad. Yes! <laughs> I need to send him this part of the video. He'll probably send me back. He'll probably send me back and just be like... Man, fuck y'all. That's probably what he'll say. He'll be like, he'll be like man, fuck Seth Zintak. But fear not. EDF allows you to look upon the visage of a woman from a safe distance. Introducing uh. the Wing Diver. If you're a Philistine, you might be upset because they removed her titty window. But I've stared at this brapper for at least 50 man hours. So <laughs> imagine my surprise. After 10 long years, she's finally <coughs> wearing clothes. Let this be a lesson, fellas. If she says, I'll be ready in 10 minutes, You've got plenty of time. Take a nap, do your taxes, read a book, but for the love of God, do not leave a car running. Trust me, the money you save will be well worth it. Why? You might even save enough to purchase all the DLC. Now, uh, who oh. needs healing? Uh, yes, this okay. Is well, you just unsold this game to me for sure. Expense. And I it's mostly cosmetic shit. It's not like story-based shit. That's still annoying. Yeah, but so is car. Well, I think it's not car mechanic simulator. I forget which one it is. In order, uh, it's a train simulator. In order to buy all the trains, you know how much money you have to spend? Way too much. Three thousand seven hundred and eighty-five dollars. That's why we're playing that game? game. Yes. What the fuck? It's because these these companies expect. Like, I could spend that on so many more. <laughs> I know, but that's if you want everything. Oh. Most people don't want everything. Most people be like, oh, hey, a springtime engine, a springtime, uh, you know, CSX engine from 85. I, I used to like those when I was a kid. Buy it for three bucks. I can see how that would be, like, a super dangerous well, thing. Well, <clears throat> now, if your boy... Microtransactions are considered predatory. In a lot of cases, yes, I do agree. Microtransactions are predatory, especially but... in games that are marketed more towards kids, like Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, and Roblox, and but that's the only thing I really have against Roblox. I mean, you know, their developer platform is is like very friendly and everything like that. But good God, the amount of Robux that they expect you to buy just out the gate—it's like, damn. Like, I just I mean, got here. Think about that. That's like a really nice vacation. Yes. That someone just blew on that's, a video that's, game. That's a car. 
That's that's basically a, a pretty decent used car. Hmm. I will be deducting it for my taxes. No. Uh, where were we? Ah, uh, yes. Video games. The Wing Diver has a jet pack. The propellant is magic video game jet fuel, which has the non-Euclidean properties of a single Romanian, virtually infinite, and given the chance, will asexually reproduce to maximum capacity. Yeah. It also <laughs> powers her weapons. Now, it may seem restrictive to fly and shoot with the same energy reserve, but don't worry. That's why they come with internal magazines. I'll have to tell things. Swag to watch this video if he hasn't seen it yet. So you can see what he says about Romanian. He'll just uh, Swag watches. He'll just be like, "That is what accurate. the fuck." No, he'd be like, "That is accurate. That is pretty accurate." <laughs> he's like, he's "Like in all honesty, I would not be surprised if Romania just took over the world by by asexually reproducing." And he'd be like, "I don't fucking sound like that." <laughs> when he sees you say that, charge and discharge, which is great for single shot weapons, but for anything longer than that, it's like. Holy so, shit. I guess I'm gonna be here for the next 20 minutes. There's no way to know this in advance. It's not a weapon stat. You have to read through the descriptive paragraph for every gun to find uh... out if it's magazine-based or magazine cringe. Life must be hard in Japan. <laughs> father, father, when I grow up, I want to be a UX designer. <gasps> you bring this honor to a family. No son of mine will ever create a good user interface. Get these notions out of your head. Now sit down for dinner. Your mother made your favorite torture duck penis. Very nutritious. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Duck. What the fuck? What? Answer could be summarized as your motherfucking life ends 30 seconds from now. The fencer is the polar opposite of a winged diver. He's going to kill you eventually, given time. But he's slow, very slow. But who cares when you can do a weld anything? Many guns, more. Well, no, Badger explained this. If you do a dash cancel animation, he's actually pretty damn fast. You can actually, like, dash cancel, dash cancel, dash cancel. And it's. And Badger said he couldn't do it because trying to do it on his mouse, he literally started developing carpal tunnel. But then he was just like, "Hey, Heavenly, you're an edge lord who likes to who likes to you know, twirl you know twirl your mouse around like a like a fucking ninja star. You do it." And then Heavenly was just like, "Bet gamer," and then just proceeds to just go ape shit. Hunters, missiles, melee weapons, shields, whatever you want. Just remember, <laughs> I lied. He's not Anime so waifu He's pillows. Two slots for support equipment. So while the novice fencer veers around uncontrollably, the master fencer just instant transmissions to where he needs to be. I'm not a very good fencer because I have brain rot from all the hours I spent playing Air Raider. The Air Raider has guns, <laughs> but more importantly, yes. he has airstrikes. We're talking howitzers, cannons, bombers, gunners, orbital lasers, bulge lasers, whatever your heart desires when something also also the physics gun from uh from uh gmod that's that's literally what it is renders the game completely unplayable for anyone with screen shake on you know it's good edf is yeah it's super good teammates by your very presence is a fundamental human right so now air raider has a third weapon slot and more importantly the 150 millimeter cannon fire this game will inform you the status of every single airstrike in the current airspace that's the equivalent of telling me a peaceful opium farmer in iraq but there's a hellfire drone circling above me believe me i already know but <laughs> i know that when i'm incarcerated in a padded cell i'll be comforted by by the sweet sound of this is DE202. We're flying to cover the ground units again. again. Who are you calling a ground unit? I'm taking to the skies. Never mind. The air raider <laughs> has a wide array of vehicles to choose from, provided they haven't already been stolen by the ranger. But I digress. Here's a quick warning on handling. Every motorcycle is completely unusable. The depth crawler comes in clutch for underground missions, but you might need a barf bag. And finally, <laughs> the armored vehicle grape is what happens when you sand your tires for aesthetic effect. Coincidentally, <laughs> the grape is the strongest vehicle in the entire game. Speed versus armor isn't really a debate. When a pack of spiders can unwind the fucking fabric of reality, in about three seconds. The Air Raider is described as a support class because I support my teammates into the afterlife. You know what? <laughs> no, yeah. I'm tired of these friendly fire jokes. I no longer wish to be this person, this agent of chaos. Oh. It's time to turn a new leaf. Deploy the Roombas. Every class has lock-on weapons, which reduce the risk of friendly fire. Yeah. And Air Raider has a suit of tools to make them even better. Most of these you'll <sighs> use once, realize they're absolute trash, and never touch them again. But... 
How do you get these weapons in the first place? Boxes. Just like your unconscious roommate who's filled with delicious kidneys, every alien is a veritable <laughs> pinata of goodies. Health pickups restore your health. Weapon pickups give you weapons, depending on a dice roll for some completely esoteric loot table, and armor pickups give you plus one max health permanently. This system is garbage. It sucks. Nobody likes it. It makes zero sense. But EDF players aren't attracted to games that make sense. They're attracted to drywall and the taste of a homeless man's <laughs> adrenaline as you chase him through the streets of New York. These new unlocks allow you to create a wide variety of team builds based on the situation. Finding out which situation you're in is a simple two-step process. Do whatever you did last time and get annihilated by some horseshit. One brainstorming session later and you'll figure it out. Rinse and repeat until, much like my clothing, the unending tide erodes away your very being. Until you are no longer a man but a lifeless husk driven by spite to beat just one more mission. This is especially true of a DLC, which replaces gameplay with cock and ball torture play. To aid <laughs> your team's camaraderie oh, in these dark Christ. times, EDF has the most extensive voice command system you will ever see in your entire life, and most of them have voice acting. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, we might have 50-foot cruise missiles, but the greatest weapon of all is hope. When the situation is at its most dire, it's on you to ignite the fires of hope with song. Oh my gosh. Oh. The game makes zero oh. sense. Oh. Surprisingly, oh. so does the story. This is a universe where everyone eats glue, including the aliens. However, it is <laughs> oh. They look like they eat the glue. So, allow me to give you a quick rundown. So, first you're a civilian, but then giant ants show up, so they give you a firearm. But when you get to the surface, it turns out there's an all-out alien invasion. News commentators speculate on which country could be responsible, as if it's already well known that Russia or North Korea has like a few thousand battalions of ants ready to go. More importantly, you need to get to safety. Your sergeant is terrible at directions, so wherever you go, you're never safe. Suddenly, a new type of alien gets deployed. To paraphrase the game dialogue, I, I can't shoot them. They're... They're just like us. And then you see what they're referring to, and clearly it is indistinguishable from humanity. Look, <laughs> two arms, two legs, and a head. <clears throat> My god. It's a featherless biped. The resemblance is uncanny. Then these guys get deployed and nobody says anything. Who's getting the best head? Post your comments oh. in WeChat. And remember, Chinese Taipei belongs to the CCP. A giant battle takes place in Beijing, where it's rumored that humanity has some kind of super weapon. Also, Godzilla shows up. This is completely unrelated to the plot. Beijing defeats the invasion and reveals their super weapon. Pollution. No, I'm not making that up. It's pollution. Aliens are weak to air pollution, and their blood contains microbes that scrub the air of all pollutants. Late game also introduces green ants that eat concrete and digest microplastic. Another kaiju shows up. Luckily, we have a giant mech for that. It turns out the aliens are working with giant bees. I have a oh small goodness. aneurysm and get back to writing this review. Science lady gets desperate and turns to mythology. Apparently, ancient humans were created when God descended in an egg-shaped ship. She gets immediately <laughs> gaslit by the radio operator, telling her, that's ridiculous. We live in the real world, not fantasy. Get back to work. Oh yeah, also, we need to find the egg-shaped command ship and uh, blow it up. A Pacific <laughs> Rim bar fight ensues for reasons unknown. Then, I spent three missions killing a walking fortress. I forgot why. Probably because my blood alcohol was high enough to wipe out a family <laughs> of four. Or my mind was preoccupied because you shoot the mothership and it turns into a biblically accurate angel. And then, God, <laughs> G descends to Earth. And what do they do? Whoa. They try to arrest him. EDF tries to arrest God. And God resists arrest. So, naturally, <laughs> we have to murder wow. God. Yes, you kill God. Because, after all, this is a Japanese role-playing game. God is dead. God remains dead. Yeah, and there are a lot of JRPGs a style epilogue where you have to kill God for the final boss. Yeah. Enough. Yeah, it's a big Some thing. Some equivalent, basically. The yeah. only one that I've actually, I mean, I've heard that about them, but the only one that I've actually ever beaten, just kind of out of nowhere at the end, it's like, I have come to reset your universe. And it's like, who the hell are you? And I am known by many, many names. It's like, why, why am I just God. now hearing about you? And it's like, your universe is time to be reset, prepare to die. And it's like, uh, um, we choose violence instead. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs>
place to tell you that 90% of the world's population is fucking dead. As for the remaining 10%, there in India, please remember, this is the same nation where a politician tried to prove the safety of the Ganges River by drinking its water. Immediately, he was rushed to the ICU. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes, that's how bad it is. It's like, it's like trying to take a shower in Flint, Michigan. Your skin is going to rot off. Hearing this, I hope you understand what I mean when I say that EDF is a parallel universe where Down syndrome is normal and chromosomes work like Pokemon. You collect them all and they battle for dominance. To close off, I'd like to share a story. In elementary school, for some reason, they put a special needs kid in the same class as us. He Same. They did that with us. He, like, he, he pulled his dick out. What? That really happened, yes. Wow. And thus, they pulled him out of the class and put him back in special ed class. Hmm. Huh. I don't know how I would react to that. Most of the boys were laughing. What did you guys do? Most of the boys were laughing and, like, the girls were pretending to ignore it. Hmm. And then the teacher was basically just like, hold on, what? it's like, it's like, hold on. And then she like grabbed his jacket and like put it over his desk and covered like, you know, his lower half. Mm -hmm. And then she went and got the vice principal and the vice principal like got the special ed teacher to come and get him. Yeah, that was hmm. a learning experience. He really wanted to play with an action figure we had, but we didn't let him because obviously he's gonna destroy it. So he shoved it up his ass and now no one could play with it because no one wanted to. And also we were really superstitious at the time. We thought that uh, touching poop is how you catch AIDS. And for a pair of eight year olds, we were kind of half right. The homosexual apple does not fall far from the homosexual tree. EDF unintentionally reveals a deep-seated truth about the human condition. Aliens, if you ever dare invade Aliens. our planet, we're going to destroy it first. <laughs> yes. A 50 millimeter Kampfwagen Kanonen shell just hit my neighbor. I know that because I've been playing Enlisted this entire time. And I need help. Join for free and use my link for free days of premium time and several orders for troops and weapons. Where are we dropping? Anywhere. Enlisted is available on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation with cross-platform support. I'll see you on the front lines. As always, more content to come, so stay tuned. A warm thanks to the many members of a merchant's guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos except i haven't had an opportunity when he said more content to come what was that more content to come from him yeah but go back to what he what what it was showing when xbox and playstation with cross-platform support i'll see you on the front lines as always more content to come i believe what is that what no i want to see crew storage i don't know uh, i want to say that might be hard space shipbreaker but i'm not 100 percent sure maybe so stay tuned a warm thanks to the many members of a merchant's guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos except i haven't had an opportunity to charge you but that will soon change you're all truly wonderful have a good one okay fair enough so yeah, that's uh, Earth Defense Force uh, number five, and you kill you kill the the god of that world, which ah, uh, and a lot of other stuff, and various other big big things. Uh, I gotta say that that game seems to be absolutely batshit insane. Yeah, and I love it. It looks like a sensory overload. Yes. Yes, it does. But, hey, that's... Uh, what do you expect from from Earth Defense Force? You know, a, a, like something palatable? No. It's big things with big explosions, and you kill big things. Anyway, so yeah. It's pretty simple. Yeah. Pretty simple. It It's, it's a lot like the Dynasty Warriors thing. You know, it's just like, throw all... Oh my goodness. Look at the baby girls. Look at that Cali baby. My goodness. Who's a good baby? This Dynasty Warriors is basically, would you like to be one guy and kill 10,000 guys? Yes. Here you go. That's exactly what it, that's exactly what it is.
Would you like to do that 900 more times? Well, if not, then this probably isn't the game for you. This probably isn't the series for you, because holy crap. I'm out of... <laughs> That's a game I played on a demo, like, when I was a kid, and I was like, this game is amazing. And then people were talking about it, and I never actually got to get my own copy of it. And they were like, it's the same thing over and over, though, and I was like... Yeah, I could see that getting boring after, like, five or ten, like, battles, basically. Yeah, now imagine that over, like, seven to eight games. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so, that's gonna do it, everybody. This was uh, Seth Zentok's review of Earth Defense Force 5. I don't know what Seth's gonna do next, but I know that it, when he does it, y'all are probably gonna request it, and I'm cool with that. So, uh, until next time, everybody, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Kate. I am Nick. This is Calliope. And down there's Asher. You can probably hear him snoring. Yeah. So, anyway, take care, everybody. We'll see you. Peace. See yeah. ya.